if communities of contemplative life are the spiritual reactor core of the church so essential for any genuine renewal people who dedicate their whole lives to prayer on behalf of the rest of us then theological faculties are the intellectual reactor core of the church and are just as essential to authentic Catholic renewal. And here in Washington, authentic Catholic theology is most impressively and comprehensively embodied by the Dominican House of Studies. It does a job for all of us, not simply for the St. Joseph province, but for the intellectual life of the church of the Washington metropolitan area that no one else does or frankly is likely to do. Uh, the move embodied by those buildings to expand this service uh, to the church uh, throughout the metropolitan area is absolutely essential, uh, as essential as the witness of the missionaries of charity right up the road on Otis Street, as essential as the witness of contemplative uh, men and women throughout the archdiocese. The renewal of the Catholic life of the mind at a time when our culture has lost most of its mind uh, is, and as a famous vice president once said, a mind is a terrible thing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope we don't have a repetition of such a phrase on Thursday night here. Uh, the renewal of the life of the mind absolutely essential, even in this place. Um, Bob was joking about the difficulties of faith and reason in Washington. Well, the bottom line uh, still remains that ideas run the world, for good or for ill. Uh, and we need to challenge bad ideas with good ideas, and true ideas, and noble ideas, and beautiful ideas. And the Dominican commitment to those transcendentals, truth, beauty, goodness, uh, is a magnificent gift to, to all of us and deserves uh, our support. So let me commend this uh, cause uh, to you. It's worth uh, doing in say, in itself, uh, as we used to say. But you also never know when you're going to run into an Albigensian. <laughs> Please be generous. Thank you.